Hello everyone and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am CS Anjana Mishra working as the lead functional consultant at BISP Solutions. I specialize in synthesizing and analyzing the financial data. I have seven years of experience in NetSuite, HFM, FCCS and so others. BISP Solutions is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. We have a far-flung proficiency in end-to-end -end implementation and support. Today we'll be looking upon the GL impact of the transactions in the Oracle NetSuite application. In accounting, a general ledger is a record of all the past transactions of the company that is organized uh, by accounts. General ledger accounts contains all the debit and the credit transactions that are affecting them. Now, when we come to our uh, NetSuite application, uh, NetSuite applications have two types of transactions. One is posting transactions and the others are known posting transactions. Posting transactions are the one that have an impact on the general ledger. That means uh, they have any monetary value associated with them in such a way that they are affecting some or the other account in the business. Those are posting transactions. So when we are looking upon the general ledger impact on the transactions, we are only talking about the posting transactions and not the non-posting transactions. Uh, coming back to our general ledger, uh, in GL accounts actually contains all the debit and the credit transactions that are affecting them. In addition, they include uh, detailed information about each transaction, uh, such as the date it is included in there, description, a small note or description that is included in the transaction, uh, amount of the transaction, that is the debit amount and the credit amount, and uh, may also include some descriptive information about what the transaction uh, is all about. Most in the accounting software, a general ledger sorts all the transaction information through the accounts. Uh, so the general ledger will have the information into it through the accounts that are affected in the transactions. Also, general ledger is the primary source of generating the company's trial balance and financial statements. The ledger's accuracy is validated by the trial balance, which confirms that the sum of all the debit accounts and all the credit accounts are equal. The transactions in the GL are related to various accounting elements uh, like assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, expenses, gains, losses. Assets may include uh, cash, AR, property, plant, and equipments, and so on. Liabilities may include salaries payable, notes payable, accounts payable. Equity related journal entries are also posted in the uh, general ledger. And the other uh, unrealized gains, unrealized losses, and all the things, all the transactions are going to affect. I'm talking about the posting transactions. The transactions are going to affect the general ledger uh, in any of the sub account of asset, liability, equity, revenue, expenses, gains, and losses. Now, coming to our NetSuite application. So, this is my NetSuite application. Uh, I will uh, show you or take you through a single transaction and what is that single transaction having an effect on the GL. So let us start with the purchases. Yes, so as you can see, this is the purchase order that I had just uh, entered yesterday. I have just created this whole trail. Uh, this is, I have entered the uh, purchase order into my system. So what is the impact of this purchase order? And uh, this is the impact my purchase of the purchase order entering into my uh, business books. So this is the GL impact of this purchase order. Uh, let us just look at the items that have been purchased. So this is the expense that is uh, associated with this whole uh, purchase order. And this is the item that has been purchased. Now, what is the GL impact of this particular transaction? So this is my GL impact where my purchase order has a credit amount and uh, administrative expenses are debited by 2500 and the inventory assets have been increased and hence have been debited by 74499 that is the price and the purchase order has been created 
so this is the gl impact now this is a gl impact of a purchase order where i have entered the purchase order and i have received the i i'm not showing the whole uh, trail here because it is going to take a lot of time so i'm just informing you that this is the purchase order has been entered i have received the order into my warehouse and i have billed it as you can see uh, the remark sh uh, shows fully billed now this is the purchase order impact now since we have uh, billed it also so of course when i am billing it i will have uh, the second effect of this transaction into my gl we look at this so here since i have built the uh, purchase order after receiving my order into my warehouse this is the gl impact of the billing so uh, a, a, the whole transaction has the same things where my inventory has been received not built uh, general and administrative expenses and the credit amount is accounts payable that means i have an accounts payable to this company Where, uh, when i'm talking about this vendor i have a purchase i have accounts payable towards this company so and a liability has stood up into my uh, books so this is the second effect of this uh, transaction that is when i have been billed and now uh, i have actually paid the vendor i have paid this uh, vendor for the accounts payable that there were so this is the third impact of this same transaction where i have paid it so now my accounts payable have been decreased by uh, 76999 uh, dollars and uh, i have paid it by a bank that is the op uh, operating account of us one bank so i have paid it by uh, the check or bank payment i have done and this is the impact of that bank payment so we have seen the impact of a transaction when it has uh, when we have raised a purchase order we have received it we have billed for it now after billing now the accounts pay i have received the bill the accounts payable is standing and when i have paid the vendor in full this is the effect on the gl of this uh, one transaction so this one transaction has actually three effects one when i have uh, raised a purchase order and received the uh, inventory second when i was billed and third when i have paid the vendor this is a simple general ledger impact of one transaction uh, in the oracle net suite application so this is how we will uh, every uh, purchase or sale a uh, sale order purchase order everything will have a gl impact though we are not entering it in a like a journal entry but of course if you are entering a bill you are entering a purchase order sales order uh, if it is a posting transaction it is going to have a effect in the general ledger so this was all from my side in case of any queries consultation or help required from our side please just do get back to us at www.bispsolutions.com uh, where we would be happy to help you thank you so much